Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kill 10 Rats. Welcome back to Ballroom. Last episode, we did manage to get our hands on one of the remains of the necromancers, and now we're out to find the remaining remains, which is one of my favorite turns of phrase lately. Uh, we are headed for Erdal, I think, which is the city. We should uh, sort of focus on getting to the major skill as well, but I naturally want to see the big city lights first. Which, uh, hopefully, you know, puts us in touch with a bunch of new interesting people, some of whom might even have quests for us. Ah, we're getting roasted by lizard scum. Where the hell are you? Uh, there he is, okay. Alright. Do I want to... Teleport? No, I don't want to teleport quite yet. What did you just do? Oh, you silenced me. You bastard. Okay, let's have him... Uh... Why does it not... Okay, this is probably not high enough to line of sight, but oh well. It's fine. This is fine. Everything's on fire, but this is fine. Oh, come on. This isn't fine anymore. Hmm, what do I want to do here? Do I want to lower threat maybe? I think I may want to. And then just start the uh, fieriness. What do you uh, do to me now? Siphon life. Something is stealing all of your regenerated health. You cheeky bugger. Hmm. Okay, let's... Uh, Amp this up a little. Okay, he's uh... Oh, was he still stealing my regenerated health? No, he wasn't. He's just a bastard. Um... Healing or mana? Mana, probably. Because that way we can win this. There we go. Level 6, so that was a little... Oh, and we baked them already. <laughs> I always love that so much. <laughs> uh, this is my favorite aspect of the game. <laughs> uh, hilarious. Okay. Um, let us consume our enemy. Let's actually consume a sausage, maybe. Om nom nom. Did we give our... Yes, we did give our sh uh, grandpa's share to grandpa before leaving. That would be a bit of a weird move to uh, just take grandpa's intended sausage with us on our adventures. There we go. We have replenished our wispy bottle so we can plant a few more bushes. Oh wow, that was a bit of a hitch there. I think the quick save function is uh, Straining somehow, I don't know why. Okay, but like I said in the past, my computer is doing wonky things, even though it's only a year and a half old, but that's what I get for taking it, and it being a desktop PC, not a laptop, with me on various plane trips and suitcases and whatnot, because I uh, change countries way too often, but I can't be without my PC. But the country changing bit is over now, and I will also hopefully be able to lay my hands on a bit of a... Let's just say extraordinary payment from work fairly soon, and then I may be able to replace this thing. With something that I actually want to, uh, you know, upgrade to, and have been wanting to upgrade to for a while, just because the rendering times on my current graphics card are not great. And I would quite like to reduce the times it takes me to do a video. And for that you really just need the beefiest graphics card that you can lay your hands on. So we'll see how that goes. And we're in the city. Let's see if this is a... Well, this is actually not the city, hopefully, because this looks a little depressing. But I think we're just more on the outskirts here, and this is more like it. But you are Queenie. So... We've already found Her Majesty, I suppose. Will you stop? 
Where are you running? Oh, you're running to this place that I completely missed. What is this? A temple or something? Hello, Queenie. I see a young girl cleaning near the church. She has simple but good clothing. She doesn't seem to notice me. Okay. And this then must be the church. And the chanting in the background sort of confirmed it, as does the guy dressed in a robe. Unlike me, who, you know, wears the robe of a necromancer because I like making people feel comfortable when they talk to me. In front of me stands an old priest. His garments are different from the other priests. He must be the high priest of this church. Okay, so we can do the whole blessing, buffing, debuffing shenanigans, but we can also ask him, how are things, father? It's a fine day, isn't it, dear son? I haven't seen your face before. I welcome you to our church. I'm looking for work, apparently. You could help me in something. I suspect that it is a rather sensitive case. Can I trust you with such a matter? Sure, I'm a perfect stranger you've never seen before. He walks in from the street, so you can trust me with everything. Your life savings, whatever you have. I will handle this delicately, father. You can trust me. Lately I've been hearing, well, noises. How can I say this to you, son? Noises. Noises of pleasure, I assume. Noises of great pleasure, even. Okay. Consider me intrigued. I'm sorry, father, but I don't understand. <laughs> can you be more specific? Oh my god, this is just like... This is just being a troll, I think. He's like wanting to watch Father Melvin here squirm. You know when a woman and a man... <laughs> I understand now, Father. This kind of activity is bad amongst our members. <clears throat> well, you're gonna run out of members at some point then. What makes matters worse is that I strongly suspect the women involved are, you know, working. <laughs> okay. As opposed to unemployed, I guess. No. What do I need to do, father? I've got it all planned out. Listen carefully. Tell my brothers that you have heard that there are rumors about newborns without fathers. And you are really scared because you have been to the brothel a few times. One of the children might be yours. Ask them what to do. I think that will scare them enough. What do you think? <laughs> it sounds like a good plan, father. Psychological warfare. Now, you don't have to speak to the girls. Simply tell my little story to my brothers, all right? What will I get in return? I will teach you what I have learned over the years. I know quite a few spells, you know. What do you say? I will talk to them, father. Thank you, my son. Now off you go. Okay. <clears throat> that was somewhat funny. Um, let's see. Brothers, huh? Are you a brother? Hmm. Where are the brothers? I should tell the young priests at the church what Marvin told me. Okay, so... He's probably one then, I guess? Are you? Zachary, this young man must be studying to become a priest. His cheeks and nose are suspiciously red. The bottom of his robes are really dirty. Can I talk to you, father? Sure, son, what bothers your soul? Uh, I have to confess, Father, I've been to a brothel, blah, blah, blah. Father Melvin knows about the girls you've been bringing to the rectory. Um, yeah, let's go for this one. Father Melvin knows about the girls you've been bringing to the rectory. The Father knows? What have we done? Our animal needs took over our minds. Tell the Father that we'll end it once and for all. I will. Okay, so I guess we'll do the honest man. This man has a funny smile on his face. His eyes follow me around. I get the feeling that at any moment he will say something, but he never does. I've met people like that. Um, was that it already? Yeah. And I guess this opens up here, but the question is why would we want to? On the other hand, why wouldn't we want to? So let's uh, flippity switch. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure how to do this methodically, as you no doubt... Oh, there we go. Right. Hello. Excuse me. Thank you. Just wanting to check what's down here. Thank you very much. It is dark. Now it's not. Okay. 
Are you hiding some necromancer's remains? Because my remaining remain quest is still on the forefront of my mind. No, you're not. You're actually just a tunnel. What the hell? Where does this go? Uh. Okay. What the hell? Where did we... Oh, wow. That's quite a distance. And we can't get back in. Oh, we can. There we go. There's the hatch. Nice. A shortcut, I guess. And maybe also that was the brothel there. <laughs> I could imagine this is how they come in. Okay, that's nice that they actually did that uh, little detail there. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let me just quickly check what's in here while we're unobserved. Mortals. Okay, mortals are fine. And this is also fine. Oh, we're actually not unobserved, but Renfried isn't saying anything. Uh, you shouldn't worry anymore, father. Your brothers will end their relationship with the brothel. Thank you, my son. My heart is free of worry now. As I promised you, I will teach you the knowledge I have obtained over my many years. What, 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 what knowledge is that? Can you... Desist! Stop running away, dude! Why are you storing coffins in your pantry? What the hell, dude? Can you teach me more? Heal level 2. Arcane Arts level 3. God damn it. But still, once we have that, and maybe that's not something that's available on the, um... What do you call it? The... What the hell is it, Jax? Maybe that's, that healing spell is something the Mage's Guild can't teach us, so we might actually be in luck having found this. Right, so there's a few abandoned buildings here from the looks of it. And this is... What's this? This is Erdal, officially now. City limits, I suppose. And an empty house. Okay, no, let's not do that. Until we found the Thieves' Guild. Because the one thing that could be a little awkward is if this is potentially the house of the... Head of the Thieves Guild and we start stealing from them. That might lead to a somewhat unfortunate conversation. Who are you? Etta. Her clothes tell me she's really wealthy. She is most certainly not starving. That's a, an interesting way to put it, I guess. <laughs> I'm here to inquire about your services. I need someone who can repair worn items. Repair? Oh, okay, I can't. Wow, okay. Um... Then let me just inquire about your Servetius. What Servetius do you have? Um, cool. I can offload my uh, junk on you. And I think I'll start selling <clears throat> these unique items as well. Because I can't really see us using them at any point. Yeah, this is all... Unfortunately, stuff we can't really do anything with, even though it's really, really shiny. But we are just not the warrior type, so... When you gotta go, you gotta go. We will also be having a nice amount of money now, I guess. And now we can actually ask her to repair our stuff. Which means we can re-equip... All the shinies. What do we actually have? Loose cloth belt. Was that the best one we had? Really? That's our best belt? I can't really imagine that's the case. Let me check. It, no, belt of the underground. There we go. Just about to think, what, what the hell? How did that happen? Lightweight plate boots is not really what we were wearing either, was it? Or was it... <clears throat> it might have been. There is muddy leather boots. No, I think we have some other shoes though. Uh, what's this? Spider silk leggings. We did have different gloves usually though. Mm, more spider silk. No. Those, yeah. Those were the ones. And the Unholy Shroud. Okay, I guess that should do it. And I guess it's getting dark. 
we should maybe go and fleece her some more. So I'm gonna just grab all this stuff and then we can maybe have that work in our favor. Etta, stop right there, show me your goods. Well, that's phrasing. Um, there you go, take this, 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 this and this. And also the rest of them. Maybe not the Golem Slayer, who knows. And there we go, 6,000. We are suddenly, and quite strangely, filthy rich. <clears throat> which is nice. Okay, where are we? We are looping around, which I assume is the castle here. That, that seems to be the moat. And this is Perry, another wealthy merchant. I guess there are only a few of them left in the kingdom, so business must be really good. I'm here to look at your inventory. What do you have? You have... Uh, moth gloves. Um, is there like a comparison feature at all? Uh, no. Seven bait, wisdom one, spell hit one. I guess we'll buy them for backup, <clears throat> seeing how we have money. And we could sell them some of our more uh, platy armor. Yeah, this one as well, this one, this one, this one as well. Those. Uh, yeah, why not, and yeah, that, that's not too bad, actually. So now we have 9,000. I guess we're doing okay for ourselves at this stage in the game. There's Kit, who's a Kit, and this is where it starts. Hmm. Oh, but there are a lot of ruins here, apparently. And uh, no one seems to have been of a mind to ransack them up until now, so uh, I guess I have found my niche. I am the scavenger. Let's see here. Okay, this is where you enter that, apparently. Judging by the map. Hmm. Right, Erdal, <clears throat> the remaining remains. Yeah, we should talk to the Mage's Guild to advance the plot, but let's just have a bit of a rummage around the city. Ectoplasma and a larva fang. The thing is, like, now it's getting dark and everyone is sort of going to sit in their houses, I guess. So maybe we should do some sleeping and come back at a later date or rather, you know, during the day when it's hopefully more hustling and bustling I think we'll just do that I mean, we're not really in need of rest but we might just go and take a nap anyway let's uh, have some breakfast and um, can we harvest here almost grown melon? Okay, we can harvest the slowberries though. And I guess we could plant some more slowberries as well. Oh, there's actually a wisp floating around there as well, so that is nice. How should we plant the next bunch? Let's just maybe start them up there. Uh, specials, yeah, slowberry bushes, and then we'll just make a, I guess another, my farming skill, oh, okay, mm, 12 out of 12, so there is a maximum. Alright then, good to know. And we're back in Erdal, and I guess we'll just randomly barge into houses and talk to people, because, you know... Meet the new neighbors. Our house is everywhere, so we are everywhere's neighbor as well. This young woman looks really upset. She is holding something in her hand behind her back. You look upset, Tina. Don't come closer. 
Calm down, I'm not going to harm you. Two of my dear friends are missing and I haven't seen you around. Who are you? I am a simple traveler. You don't have to fear me. I came to the city looking for work. I've got work for you. You fight my friends. Not so fast. Tell me what happened. They are called Zelma and Patty. <laughs> How old are they now? Do they chain smoke and hate men? They both live here in the Commoner's house. Both of their houses are right next to mine. Zelma went missing weeks ago. Patty disappeared yesterday. I fear for the worst. Who would kidnap them? We don't know what happened. I think I know what happened. Zelma told me about a man she was visiting. She and Patty were talking a lot about him. Every time I saw them whispering their cheeks turned red. It has something to do with that man. Do you know anything else? Have you seen the man? There were a few times when I saw Zelma sneaking into the forest. Right before Zelma disappeared, I think I saw the both of them sneaking into the forest together. Can you tell me the direction they went? To the south. Zelma is a reckless young woman. She was working for Sabrina. She tried to lure Patty to work for Sabrina too. I think Zelma met that man at the brothel. That's all I know. I will try to find them. Thank you, stranger. It's good to see true-hearted people can still be found in this corrupted world of ours. Well, I am your prince, you know. Or your king, if the White Guardian is to be believed. So Sabrina is the madam, which kind of confirms the suspicion that that tunnel actually leads to the brothel, because we already saw her through the wall, I think. There is Ivo, or Evo. I would call him Evo, but I'm not sure. That's how it's intended. This man must have seen a lot of things in his life. His hair is dark grey. I see a lot of barrels lying around. There is a strange smell floating around his house. Are you related to Buck? What are you making here? Don't tell me you need more. I simply cannot make enough for you. You have to wait. I'm not here for anything. I'm just looking for work. Then you are not one of them. The rebels take away all my bottles. They sometimes even take whole casks of my good old spirit. You're looking for work, you say? Fine, I have something for you. I am not one of them. No, most decidedly not. What do you need? I'm looking for something new. A new taste for my new creation. I've been making the same spirit for decades. Now it's time for a new one. Bring me all kinds of ingredients. I will examine them, taste them and decide what to use. Alright, I'll be back with a few ingredients. This should be fun. I brought you ingredients, Evo. It's a special powder. Evo carefully smells and tastes each and every ingredient he thinks might be interesting. He closes his eyes and breathes deeply. I think we have something here, young man. This powder is extraordinary. I will certainly try it. Where did you find it? I found it on Rick James's couch. It comes from the wings of a giant moth. Oh, does it? Interesting. A giant moth, you say? That won't be easy to obtain. Thank you for your help. Here, take a bottle of my oldest spirit. You earned it. Also, let me tell you a secret of my trade. The secret is to age the spirit in these special casks you see around here. And the bigger secret is that the one I give the rebels is only aged for a few weeks. The bloody idiots are not sophisticated enough to taste the difference. He's a king's man and an alcoholic. I already like him. I have to add some color to the product because to get this wonderful dark red color one has to age the spirit for years. One day I will try to give them one without added color. They might be stupid enough not to notice. <laughs> Take care, Evo. Okay, cool. That was nice. I love those, love those little uh, encounters that you can have here. Excuse me while I untwist my tongue. Um, right, what do we have here? More wreck and ruins. Uh, apparently some bandits and laborers undressed in these places routinely because we keep finding their uh, discarded clothes. What is this now? Another hatch, another strange bush. Where does that hatch lead, though? There seems to be a lot of underground tunneling going on in this place. What are you? You are dark again. Okay. Maybe another shortcut here. Jax, my boy. Why are you not showing up? There you are. Right. This is... Maybe... Okay... Hmm, people living underground, hey? I have a feeling... We may have found what... I was suspecting was out there... Regarding the guilds... But you never know... That would be a bit of a... Strange coincidence to just walk into the living room like that, but this also doesn't seem to connect all that well, so 
let's maybe see where this goes. Where the hell is Jax? Oh, he's hiding in the isometric blind spot. That's where you are. I'm not even sure whether this actually is supposed to be isometric because I am not entirely sure what that entails. I think there is something like a true isometric perspective and a not so true one. I'm not sure what which one this is. I just know that Jax has some problems showing up properly in this one, apparently. Um, what is this place? What the hell? Some sort of underground sporadic nightmare berry farm so far, but okay. I guess this is maybe just the sewers? This is very disjointed. How did I get here? Huh. Okay. Ah, okay. So this loops back here. Well, I guess now that we are down here, we're committed. So let's explore this some more. But we're going to do this next time. So I thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you then. And bye for now.